We're an American band. Man, Grand Fuck Railroad's playing right now. Good time to talk about college athletics and uh, education in general at these universities. Sorry, I'm going to try and block out that light for you. Uh, got plenty of light here. I probably should just move over to my corner where I did the video on Notre Dame. And if they are a national title contender, you'll have to let me know about that. But we are moving over here because that is too... There we go. That's better. Uh, yes. I am the dependent fanatic, a professional... No. A professional drywaller that likes to talk about sports. Now, we have to see if I can prop you up over here. There we go. Hey. Hey, welcome. Welcome in. Oh, another good song. Anyway, it's been a late night. You can see there on the on the clock. Yeah, almost two o'clock. I gotta officiate the Notre Dame. Uh, it's a live premiere. I have to be there. I'm my only moderator. <laughs> so, uh, just to make sure that everything goes kosher. Uh, and that's tomorrow at uh, 12 noon. So, stay tuned for that. Well, today at 12 noon. Um, but at what point, like this is a serious thing I want to try and, and talk about. At what point do we take education out of university athletics? It seems that that's what's going to happen because that's what everybody wants. It could have been, excuse me, it could have been structured uh, differently, but the NCAA is just clueless. And now the uh, Supreme Court is in, in favor of capitalism. Uh, and here we go. Every team wants the best players for their team. And most of the best players go pro after their junior year, uh, which is the soonest they can. So they want money in college so they can bolt for the NFL ASAP or transfer out and get a starting job and or money. <laughs> um, I'm talking semi-pro here now, right? Where you have contracts to play with a and a collective bargaining agreement amongst the players and a salary cap for the teams uh we're talking semi-pro an agreement so i'm curious when i ask should michigan and other powers create football related classes so that it can actually be a legal uh classroom where they are actually getting educated to go pro and something they want to do um you know it's that's what we're going to or should they just loosen the gpa requirements and transfer requirements as far as credits transferring and to make it fair uh at, you know at the university of michigan we have a higher academic threshold than others and it's not fair if you're if you're going pro in football in Michigan. Michigan is traditionally about the academics, the university. It is a university after all. It's a school where you go to learn. So, at what point does the university not care about academics? They have been expanding the playoff, which doesn't help the players. If you want to go semi-pro, I am for it. If it is an even playing field with a CBA, I am okay with the NIL being what it, it was supposed to be, which was sponsorship. So if you got famous, if people knew you and bought your jerseys, you got money from that. Now we're paying for players just in a general contract scenario. That's what it has to be. I guess my question is, 
Should a person be able to get a fine football degree <laughs> from the University of Michigan consisting of film study, practice, nutrition, weight training, finance, etc.? I'm all for players, but let's stop pretending that this is about education because it's not anymore. It's not. I have said that universities could have semi-pro teams but way back, decade ago, uh, in athletics. But at that point, they should get a major in it if they stay the four years, you know. Um, it's a crazy world that we are entering in college football with the new 12-team playoff coming up. Uh, it's all about money. Money drives everything, and it, and it kind of ruins everything as well, traditions and what have you. So we're entering, entering this new world. I want to know. Do you take the education out of it or do you allow them to have an education in what they are going for? Let me know in the comments below. It's a fascinating uh, conversation, I think. Thank you, everyone. Like the video, share, subscribe. And uh, don't forget to watch all the other videos that I have. And uh, we'll see you on the next one. Have a great night.